What's up everybody, Dave's here back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. And today, we are going to finish off the Expert Mission series, and I'm going to show you how to be Expert Mission number 20 offline. Now you're going to want to stick around to the end so you can see exactly what you're up against in this. It is slightly different than some of the other ones, and a little bit annoying at parts, and I'll, I'll explain that as I'm going through the mission. Now if you've watched my other videos and, and followed my advice on the other expert missions, you should really have no problem on this one either. It, it's really annoying, but it's very beatable. Uh, we're doing number 20, and the two moves you can get from this are going to be data input, which if you want to make your own Ultra Instinct character, probably the most essential move you can have for them is going to be data input. And also Peeler Storm for them Crystal Raid boss battle moves. So if you're looking for either of them, this is exactly where you're going to get those moves, so stick through the end and you can find out how to beat it. Now we're using my male Earthling Balance build, I'll leave a suggested video if you're curious to what that is. With my healing preset, I've used this in some other ones, this uses Elder Kai's Hoomzy Soul, along with the move Do or Die, and I use Energy Zone 2. So right off the bat, we're going to start charging up. You've got uh, Android 13, we're going to charge up, and we're going to use Do or Die right off the bat, get people healing because they're going to take a lot of damage. Now you're going to notice here, as I fire off this Emperor's Death Beam, they nerf the damage on you for, the, for these enemies. I don't know why they do it, but they do it, which makes it a lot harder. They're not hard to beat, but with that added, it just makes it really annoying, honestly. Like, that's what it comes down to. It's, it's really annoying to do. Now, Android 13, I believe, only throws out the blue orbs that one time. He doesn't really do much. He might throw it out a second time here. It's just you're trying to eat away at his health because your moves don't really do anything to him. Normally, I'd take at least a bar and a half on this particular preset. And as you can see, I'm not really doing anything to him. This, this right here should easily finish him off. He's going to take pretty much a full Emperor's Death Beam. Nothing. It was the Neo Tri-Beam that finished him off. So, just be aware... Your moves are not going to do hardly any damage to them, and that's what makes this mission annoying and hard. Same thing with Deborah, you know, it's the same deal. Now, uh, I forgot to mention, these characters also have that, like, Ultra Instinct dodge ability that some of the other expert mission bosses have had, so be aware of that. And as you see right there, he's going to throw out the blue orbs, and he hits me even though I'm, like, nowhere close to him. Not a big deal, we're just going to hit off the Emperor's Death Beams, and we're just going to continue to do that and use do or die you have gotta make sure you're healing your people they are gonna die constantly even while you're healing them so make sure you're doing that now at this point we're already five minutes in and we're just now getting to Bora beat like that's how much they are nerfing the damage you do he's gonna throw off this move I saw it come and I blocked it most of the CPUs blocked it too but the difficulty in this comes straight from that it's all because they nerf your damage Nothing about this is really hard. It just takes a long time. A very long time. We're five minutes in, and we're just now getting to the third person. Now, as you can see, I tried to do my do or die. It takes my bar of key, but it did not actually get it. I had to do it again. Now, if you haven't noticed, my damage is no longer nerfed. Uh, Buhan is going to throw out a bunch of them boss moves, but the damage is no longer nerfed, so we're actually doing really good damage against him right now. But once you get to a certain point, he's going to throw out a new boss move that hasn't been in this one yet, and he's going to launch it back through the portals. Uh, just tedious, you know. They probably could have just kept it where you weren't really doing a lot of damage to him and just kept you in that same way, but I guess they're just trying to switch it up a little bit. And we're going to fight Super Boo. Not Boo Han like we were fighting, just regular Super Boo. So we're going to take him out real quick, and right after I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to use Energy Zone before I go back through that portal couple times just to make sure I'm all the way through. I'm going to get through and now we're going to be fighting Majin Buu. Now this fight's extremely easy. I think I hit him with one Emperor's Death Beam. That's it. And then again, I've got a couple allies there. I'm going to get them grouped together and I'm going to do Energy Zone. I'm going to get him healed up real good before we go back through that portal. Make sure you do that. So we get back through and we've got a couple allies down right now. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm just going to keep firing off ultimates. As you can see, I got broken right there. I was just kind of throwing it out. He wasn't locked on to anybody else, so I get beat up a little bit here. Allies don't really do anything to help me. Uh, another note, they do, or at least uh, as far as I could tell, uh, Buhan, Gohan of Majin, you know, Majin Buu, Gohan of Zord, 
has a little bit of super armor. So once you start hitting him, you're doing a little bit of damage, but he has a little bit of super armor that you got to eat through. And that can be pretty annoying. We, we get it done with really no problem. It's just a very long mission. Very long mission. And as you can see here in a second, we got Peeler Storm. So I never have to do this mission again, and I probably never will do it again. I have no reason to. Uh, these expert missions, they're kind of just there. They serve no per. After you get the move, there's no reason to do it again. There's no fun in these missions. So once you're done them all, no reason to ever go back, with one exception, and I would say that's expert mission number 16, where you fight Vegeta, because that's an easy way to farm TP medals. Uh, the best best method I know of so far, uh, I have not gotten the last DLC, so I don't know if there's something better in that, or if the Crystal Raid boss battles give you a little bit more, or something like that, but if you've got a good build, a Key Blast build, you're going to tear through that mission and be right back starting again in, in two minutes. In in two hours, you can have pretty much around a thousand TP medals, and that's pretty much the only reason you're ever going to want to come back to these expert missions once you have unlo unlocked the moves. There's really no reason after that. Well, guys, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, I'm going to be doing parallel quests just like I did these expert missions to show you how to beat these parallel quests, because once you get up there, especially in the DLC, they do get a lot harder, and sometimes you need certain things to beat them, like my healing preset. So I'm going to be going through them to show you how to unlock those moves, clothing, and super souls. So if you like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.